Wish us luck. Let's get rowdy. I'm in such a good mood. No. <laughs> I walked in, I was like, I've had a morning. <laughs> this week. Recently I've been back in my not super early morning wake ups but between like the 4.45 to 5.30 and I'm kind of loving it. heading into the city to do some work with Rach. Which we've kind of been making a weekly a weekly occurrence this year and I love it. So desserts or cake or ice cream on your way oh home from God. work. I'm currently listening to The Diary of a CEO, Five Scientific Rules for Making and Breaking Habits in 2023. Drastically improve your chances of cementing new habits and achieving your big goals in your life. I could listen to this guy speak all day long. I've just managed to score a park right outside the cafe. Life happens for me, not to me, do you know what I mean? I actually had a moment yesterday. I found and toured my dream house and I was so set on it. I had it as my phone background. I was just like, this is gonna happen. And basically before Sam and I could get all of our like documents and everything, you know, you know when you apply for a place and you obviously have to get like so many documents and information together to apply. We didn't manage to get it all together in time and the house went and I was pretty upset because I was like, no, that was the house. But Whoa! But after kind of having, whoa! After kind of having 10 15 minutes of sadness, allowing myself to be like, I'm sad. I was like, life happens for me, not to me. This has happened for a reason, and we are meant to be in another house. I'm meant to find another house. So that's really just been my mindset. And now when anything happens that's good, I'm like, see, life happens for me, not to me. I'm actually really happy because it's a very overcast rainy day so it's the perfect kind of day to sit in a cafe and do work and you don't feel like oh, i should be outside because the weather's so good anyway i'm just still so buzzing after my car park i don't actually know if rachel's here yet is that her i just saw you drive past i'm parked like on the street that the cafe is and there's like two parks right behind me oh okay maybe i'll come back i've recently been trying not to have coffee first thing up in the day or more specifically just before food because hormones you know, all the things. But today I decided to treat myself to one. I'm a bit embarrassed, but also kind of proud to say that it was a half drink and I'm buzzing. Rachel just flopped behind me. Oh, he's just got a haircut and he's, he's just having a bit of a freak out. What are you, why are you growling? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here thinking about you on the couch. Welcome back to another I'm procrastinating going for a run by vlogging. I have been putting off going for a run since my last run, which I think I vlogged two weeks ago. I'm up to 10 minute running periods on the Couch to 5k app and well, I'm just, I, every single day I tell myself, well not every single day, the past few days I've been telling myself, okay, I'm going to do it this afternoon, I'm going to do it this afternoon, and now it's been days, and I have still yet to go on my run. I'm also wearing this sports bra for the first time. That's the back of it. Obviously when you run, you need a bit more extra support, and I think because of the thick straps, I just feel so supported. That's a really nice feeling. Um, a very productive day today. We have had the laziest day in the world and at first I was like feeling a bit guilty for it but recently I've just been feeling so exhausted like mentally physically 
emotionally and I don't know why because I don't really have a reason to be feeling this exhausted and it's annoying me because I have no excuse. <laughs> Can you hurry up? <laughs> I don't just want to wear a sports bra on my run, to be honest. It's just not the day for that. <laughs> of course, you decide to get up and make noise the first three minutes that I decide to hear a call. you got up, so I was alone in the couch because I had to get up. I just got a Gymshark parcel and they, and they brought out these little tanks, the blue. Which I really enjoy that. And then this like maroney red. I was leaning towards black, but am I feeling red today? Okay, I really like this. Do you like the color of it? Yeah. Why did my voice go up with that? Do I love the color of it? I'm a massive fan of this color. And the fit is just so like, whoop. This is going to be my running outfit. I'll try and find the links and add links to this sports bra, which I'm calling my running sports bra now. The tank. You say you're up to like 10 minute running. Yeah. Something like you're up to 10 minutes straight. Yeah. That's why. It's really impressive. It's hard. I'll try and link my entire running outfit. I've had a very lazy day, but I have been booking a lot of Europe today, which is very exciting. My toxic trait is thinking that booking accommodation is productive. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting so much done. Just like playing PlayStation is productive for me. Oh, these new socks feel so nice. Enhances my reflexes, stretches my thumbs. I booked accommodation for Paris and then Milos and Santorini. I want to say like more than half of our Europe trip is booked now. Tiny. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, but we have this thing where like every day starts so like, I just want to be in Europe. And I'm <laughs> no. just like, for me, it's like, it's too far ahead for me to even think of. Yeah, no, I'm so already I'm so like, excited. I'm not like spending all day thinking about it. But when we get I there, am. or like when we get to like a week out, I'll be like, ah! I've also started the new season of Love Island, which I would love to know anyone's thoughts on if you're watching it as well. A lot of you last time suggested instead of music to listen to a podcast or an audio book or something. So I think I'm going to try that. Anyway, I'm going to go. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thank myself for it. I'm going to feel amazing afterwards. And I know I will. It's going to be hard. But that's where growth happens. So. Eight minutes in. Also, not to make you look on my boots. But I feel like it might, they might not look like it, but they don't feel like they're moving. I need to stop talking. It's the first 10 minutes done. The last like two minutes, but I think it's because I kind of got a, oh my God. <laughs> stop, that was so embarrassing. The time just went off to start running. So, another 10 minutes. Second 10 minutes is done. I think I managed to choose the hottest day we've had in weeks to go for a run. Just like breathing in the air, it's so hot. Let's get this aircon pumping. It's 27 degrees. Yeah, it feels like 35. 37. <laughs> uh, everything I do is slow today. <laughs> what should we do for our session? I don't know, I was actually just thinking uh, Does that help? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we're, we're eating out in like 35 minutes. 45. I feel like 35 just sounds like less intimidating. Yeah, 100%. But why in my head? Is it's better to just do nothing if you're gonna do 35? <laughs> Literally like the most toxic rate of things. My uh, thing is like, if you've done a half an hour of exercise in a day, like it's a good day. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm just having an ugly day. <laughs> me too. And I put makeup on and yeah. it's worse. Me. <laughs> three, three, not picking that. Does that number look familiar? Not at all. Do you want me to Google it? Yeah. Could be mm -hmm. the dentist. This is my new invest line. Oh yeah, green slopes dental. I want to feel so I'll stick to stepping. <laughs> nice. Should we like write a session? Yeah. So we're not going to be like, hmm. What do we do? What should we do? Yeah, we should. What do you feel like doing? <laughs> you just like do the whole arm. <laughs> yeah. So a chest, a shoulder, a back. A line, a try. Mm. Would you be interested in a dumbbell chest press? I'd very much be interested in that. Straight yeah. arm. Pull down. Yes, I love that. I do too. Love and a little then a, soupy. A buy and try soupy. Yeah. It's just one of those days. I was saying yesterday that I just I just can't muster up energy. And I'm a bit confused. Because <laughs> I'm like, what is lacking in my body that I'm getting eight hours of sleep? And I feel so exhausted cool. all the time. And George is feeling the same. Nice. So is Sam. I'm like, what's in the air? Is it this time of the year? Is it the heat? 
George has come to spend the day with me and I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> yeah, I walked in and I was like, oh, I've had a morning. <laughs> it's just one of those days, but I'm so glad we're doing it together. Me too. And we're going to go get some work done after. We are. We're just about to head into the gym. We're going to do an upper body session. We're going to kill it. Yeah. We're going to absolutely tear out the gym. And then we're going to do work at a cafe and smash out. I reckon we should write like two or three things each and we can't leave until we've done them. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Wish us luck. Let's get rowdy. We can only hope. I do have pre in here and I'm really hoping it does this job. Coffee worked for like an hour. Yeah. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, I was just like, <laughs> no. We felt great after our gym session, though. Mm. Can we? Can we'll just we'll say that. But we'll say that. We'll say we'll that. that. Yeah. But it feels like forever ago. <laughs> yeah, I do feel like we were in there for like a whole day. Yeah. Also, our coffees were phenomenal. So good. Like, I've never had a good coffee from Starbucks. Me before. neither. Not in Australia. I think I've just been ordering the wrong thing. <gasps> it's no Zaffs. I literally always lose my keys when I get in my car. Oh, I did put them in the side. <laughs> You're so strange. You're so oh my god, I just had to put my seatbelt on. That's <laughs> alright! Oh, why do my eyes keep watering? Yeah. Oh wow, this oh. car's stereo is so good. It's how Soph sings every song. Dr. Dr. Like I used to think it was just do 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 do. Melodramatic as hell. You're done! <laughs> wait, what's the whole line? <laughs> wait, no, we used to recite this line. <laughs> no, the eyes are closed. When my eyes are closed. <laughs> and when my oh. eyes are closed. <laughs> I see you from what you truly are. Which is ugly. We're done. <laughs> Why do we get the timing so wrong? <laughs> And when oh. my eyes are closed, <laughs> when it's closed, not so much. Right no, when my eyes are closed. <laughs> Fade to black. Why are you screaming? <laughs> I'm literally crying. I feel like we recited another line from that movie. Oh, we like learnt it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Oh my God, what is it? <laughs> We're going to, what's it called? Chop Chop Chang's apparently. Chop Chop Chang's. Um, we're Sam's family for dinner tonight, which I'm excited about. But we're, in, we're in West End and it's hustling and bustling. Never been here on a Friday afternoon. I love the vibe, it's so cool. Oh no. Oh no. It sticks to the choppies. <laughs> Not the choppies. Okay, we're all finished up at dinner now. How do you like it? Yeah, good, really good. I had a chicken dish and while it was really good, it was like a chicken cashew thing with rice. I don't feel too hot in the belly, I don't <laughs> I'm not sure what was going on. Probably awful lighting. Yeah, it really is. I want to show you my outfit because I really like my dress. Thank you, just a cute little dress. I bought it from Princess Polly probably earlier on last year and it's just a great, like it's kind of everything you need in a little black dress. I am shiny, look at my forehead. It is amazing, it's yeah, so it's... freaking hot. Oh, that's lovely. I love the parked car feature. It's so muggy. <laughs> Here. Summer has kicked yeah. in. We haven't really had course. this much weather. Like this, sorry. Don't know what you're saying. <laughs> we haven't had this we much had, weather. We haven't had that much weather. <laughs> in honestly. a while. Like, sorry, nice. I've had a few. Look. You, yeah, Sam's very tipsy. I think the, the second mug has just hit me. Mm, I think so too. You did down it pretty quickly. Yeah. Anyway. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to drive home now.
one of those Sundays that's like relaxing yet productive. I've done washing, I've cleaned, done a grocery shop, gone to the gym, but also spent just the right amount of time on the couch I'm watching Sex and the City and booking some more Europe, which I'm really just like in the in the swing off right now. I think I've only got one or two. I think I've only got actually one more location to book, which is so exciting. And I kind of feel a bit like I'm getting ahead of myself booking so far in advance, but I feel like because we're going in peak season, even Airbnbs I was looking at like two weeks ago have been booked out, even though it is still five months away. It feels really good just having it all done apart from one place. Just kind of know that we won't be trying to book like in a month or two before and everything be booked out. We're about to take the boys for a little sunset walk. Oh, speaking of, hello. Thought I got a parcel today which always baffles me that DHL delivers on a Sunday. I bought a couple of bras actually of Skims because I've heard great, great things. They are expensive, but I've never heard anyone say that they regret their Skim bra purchases. Everyone just says they're the most comfy things. And I personally hate wearing bras. I will mostly either always be in a sports bra, no bra, or a bralette. So I got this one. It's obviously just very plain, very basic. I hope they fit. I didn't know what sizes to go with. Georgia raves about her Skims bras. So I was like, which one do you have? And she said she has this one and it's like the perfect bra to wear under t-shirts and just like so comfy. And then I also got this little triangle one, which I just thought looks really nice and comfy. So I'm kind of very excited about those purchases. Also that tripod. It looks kind of interesting in the background. Has been following me around the house today because I've been filming a, a Sunday reset vlog kind of thing for either TikTok or Instagram, maybe both. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I feel like it's making me so much more productive. I feel like it's almost like accountability. Like filming myself makes me want to do more and be more productive and clean things better because it's like people will be seeing it. It is 20 past five. I just want to have a really relaxing afternoon and night in. As I said, we'll go for a walk. The fresh sheets back on the bed that I washed today. I've been really trying to switch off as much as I can from work on a Sunday specifically so that on a Monday I don't feel like, oh, I can't be bothered. And I'm also like ready to get back into it. Also, my gym session today was surprisingly one of the best I've had in a, definitely this whole month. And I really just wasn't expecting this because my period's due in about four to five days. My app is saying, I feel like usually week up to period, I feel like you can't lift as heavy. To be fair, I didn't go heavy. I always just find gym the week, the week up, huh? The week or lead up is where I was going to my period really just tough and I can't get in the workout. I did legs today and every exercise just felt really good and I was thoroughly enjoying it and I just had a great gym session and that's always great. Also, we've had the aircon going on all day because it is so hot today. Literally just walking around the house, I'm dripping in sweat. We've really hit that peak of summer and as much as it is hot, I'm kind of thriving in it. I just love the heat. Like this might not be crazy to anyone, but it's 5.30 now and it's 28 degrees. Feels like 30 apparently. Humidity is making it feel warmer. I'm just feeling good. This is my ideal type of Sunday where you feel quite relaxed and peaceful. The house is clean. I feel productive and organized and that's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. 